Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Part 35. And in this segment, we're going to, uh, once again, suck some ass in the Bush series. Don't worry, it'll be all worth it later when I actually get some good cars and shit. But for now, we must suffer through the slowness. We're going to go to Charlotte for the Little Trees 300. Take it away, Bill Weber, I guess. Good evening, race fans, and welcome to the mecca of motorsports, Lowe's Motor Speedway. One of the most modern racetracks, Lowe's also represents home for many of these teams who are based right here in Charlotte. We're just minutes away from the start of this NASCAR Bush Series race. Oh, that was a very short introduction. Okay. Shit. So yeah, I qual where, where did I qualify? I qualified 17th, didn't I? Something like that. I don't, I don't even know. But, um, I guarantee you I'm not going to finish up there. In fact, uh, yeah. I'm going to be finishing about around where... Heart is starting. I'm guessing. But there's only one way to find out, and that is to drive. So, I'm just going to shut up and drive. 50 laps around Charlotte Motor Speedway. For me, the most difficult of these very, uh, of the one and a half mile. Oh my god. Car is twitchy. Car is quite twitchy. 17th in that piece of shit. These cars do surprisingly well in qualifying, especially my truck. When it comes to the actual race, though, they hot garbage. Oh, Kenny, what? Oh, that's not Kenny. I don't know who that was, but I had to slow down and just lose my spots more rapidly. Holy crap. What's what's subtle inputs? What's subtle steering inputs? I don't know about that. It's either full lock left or full lock right. Maybe if I was playing the PS2 version, I'd be able to... Oh my god, I can't see. Okay. I'd be able to... Uh, you know, actually steer the car correctly, but... <laughs> ah, fuck. How do you like your understeer? Alright, there we go. 17th to last in two laps. That might be a new record, I'm not sure. Turner had absolutely no rear grip. I'm actually surprised that I didn't cause a major crash. I'm really surprised I didn't cause a major ma major crash because I was I was all over the goddamn place. By the way, it's much more stable now that I'm not surrounded by a hundred cars. Imagine that. Ooh. Now if I could stop doing that. I'm baffled it didn't crash at that start. So am I. So am I. At least on fresh tires, I'm actually, like, I can keep up with the back of the field, unlike at our last race at wherever the hell it was. I can't remember now. Kansas. Now, if I knew how to enter turn three... That'd be cool. Sneaking underneath Shane here. Shane O'Mac. Come on, move, move up there so I actually have room here. Fucker. No room. How dare. 
How dare you race me? I'll try to defend your position. Yay, not last. Not last on the track. I'm hoping I can at least have one bush race this season where I actually am not the last place car of those still running. I don't see it happening, but hey, it'd be nice. Oh god. That's Shane's fault. <laughs> He's the one who moved down on me. Yellow fag. No, oh, I was not even going to show them the replay. Damn. Yeah, he just, he fucking, like, he went in all defensive mode and just, yeah. Didn't quite work out for him. Alright, well, since I'm in last, I'm going to go ahead and pit. Because there's no reason not to. Fresh tires, yo. Fresh tires are best tires. That way I'll actually have some grip for longer than not at all. So this is probably going to be a big mistake, but I'm going to add some wedge to my car to tight, try to tighten it up in traffic. I'll probably pay with my life for this move, but whatever. I think increasing wedge tightens, like, makes the car more understeery. I can't remember. I can never remember. Oh, okay. Nice slip, buddy. Buddy. Good thing I was the only car pitting, or else that would be annoying. Pit stop done. Nobody else decided to come in. Indeed. All right. Well, time for the restart. Here we go. Gotta immediately downshift because the game likes to restart me in too high of a gear. Too low of RPMs. So, 12 laps complete here at Charlotte. Because I refuse to call this Lowe's Motor Speedway. Because I'm a hipster fag. Audio delay? Is there an audio delay? Boy, are these going to be annoying to it? edit recordings? In before? Game audio is delayed, that's weird. I'll have to uh, investigate after this race. Fuckers. Oh shit. Well, that was my PB. That last lap, damn. 30.9 I didn't even put too much wedge in, I just literally put half a round in.
Plus, I'm not really that... Like, my car is definitely not as oversteery. Harm the saddler. The less successful of the saddlers. Okay, I guess I'm just not going to catch back this fucking train this time. I will. Oh, and here come the early pitters, alright. Free positions! And before rubber band. Because I gained so many positions in quick succession. We shall see. At least this is still going far better in the Kansas race, because I'm actually, like, you know, keeping up with these guys for the most part. Instead of being a second slower than the fucking 42nd place car. So there's that. Unfortunately, they're still... I just cannot get within, like, that one second. Like, I get within share draft range, and then I activate the share draft, and then, then pfft, they're gone. They're gone again. I have the added, uh, wonderment of having cars with fresh tires behind me. So that's going to be fun to deal with. Not sure if carrying more speed than I have been, or if I'm starting to lose grip in my tires. Yee. No, they're getting away. No. Oh, fuck. Don't hit the wall. Hitting the wall is bad. Nope. Oh, as I hit the wall in the straightaway, because it's not bad. Yeah, sure, let's just go onto the apron on the exit of the turn. Why not? That was almost a horrible, horrible incident. Luckily, uh, Billy managed to clear me just in time. Okay, I'm starting to lose grip. By starting meaning I've been losing grip. That's not gonna help either. Smacking the wall there. Smashing that wall like I s like you should smash that like button. <laughs> this chat is getting gay. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, that just that's the thing that happens in my chats. Oh god. Careful, nice and smooth. And low David. Ooh, 
is that a special livery on uh, Mark Martin's car? Hello. I've not seen that livery yet. I always forget, it's like, oh hey, yeah, there's like, you know, cars. some cars have multiple liveries in this game. Whoa. Isn't that crazy? I wonder how many, like, NASCAR people I, that watch this are getting pissed off by the, the words I use to describe things like livery instead of paint scheme and oversteer and understeer instead of tight and loose. Or loose and tight. You're not a real American! Smashes Bud Light can on their face. Halfway on fuel. Let's see, we started on lap 13, so that was... Okay, yeah, that was only 16 laps, so... I was contemplating some kind of fuel strategy. Nope! How dare you speak like a cultured person. I know, right? How dare you exist? Yeah, pretty much. Where am I in points? In the Bush series, I'm dead fucking last in points. I mean, considering this is only my... What is this? My fourth uh, start? And we're like... On race 20-something of the championship? Yeah. About that. Contemplating like staying out as long as I can, for no real reason. Honestly, it wouldn't. It would probably be uh, less beneficial to do that. Oh shit! We got people merging, and we got someone underneath me. No, this is still season one queue. It's crazy how much longer the season gets if you actually like progressed normally through the career. Oh, hi. Everyone has pitted now, except for the wall. Well, the issue is I have a big-ass pile of cars behind me, and also there's someone underneath me. So I don't think I can even pit this lap if I wanted to. Oh hey, it's the Orang car. That's that's the truck I'm driving. Oh god, okay. Got down to well below 70. Uh, let's undo that wedge. Actually, no, let's keep the wedge like that. It'll be good. 17 laps to go. I got five points, yay! First year is always a struggle. Rip Jake. Alright. So am I gonna end up last out of the pits? Answer is absolutely. Hey guys, look at all the time I lost from staying out on those worn ass tires. And also maybe some rubber banding from gaining all those positions through a uh, pit cycle. It's fine. Also, my pit entry was pretty slow, because I can never tell when the actual trigger for fucking pit lane is. It's like, oh, better slow down 100 feet, or 100,000 feet before the actual thing. <laughs> Alright, so now that I went from 1st to 43rd, in a matter of seconds... How slow are these guys going to be driving? That is the question. I 
And so far I'm running fairly even with Hamilton, the leader. So there's that. And there's a new PB. Nice. The grip! My car's still garbage, but at least I have some grip. to go. I think the Charlotte Road course is going to provide good racing or no. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of expecting a lot of cautions, to be honest, in that race. So it'll probably be a shit show. I'm hoping it isn't a shit show, but it'll probably be a shit show. So about that trying to catch people, it ain't happening. <clears throat> Even 40 seconds like nah fam. Besides the shit show. Um, I don't know. I don't think it'll be... It definitely won't be like Watkins Glen tier racing. Because Watkins Glen is the best track in NASCAR. At least in the Cup Series. But... I think it has potential to provide some interesting... Uh, things. Especially with like the chicanes and shit. Ah, oh, fuck me. <laughs> you are a weird yes test drive. I mean, whatever. <laughs> that feeling getting motivated by demotivation. Congratulations. I was just talking about this earlier, just like... Like, I understand the demotivation from a lot of people, but... I still think people are like... Especially us with smaller channels are getting too demotivated. Because, uh, yeah, like, I think we're worrying too much about gaining, you know, popularity and shit. Not like focusing on, hey, let's have some fucking fun. I could tell by your lack of videos test drive that's been going on for a bit. I mean, it happens. It's just the usual test drive burnout demotivation. I mean, what? I'd like to see Road American Cup Series? So would I. Like, I would love to see Road American, maybe even Mid Ohio in the Cup Series. YouTube existential crisis. Yeah, just be like you and shit post every now and then, not care about anything. No, there's no time progression in this game, as you could tell by the sunset being in the exact same spot as it was at the start of this race. Let's have some fun, he says as he's in last. Hey! I'm enjoying the overall playing of this game, and I am well aware that while I'll be shit now, the more I drive with the shitty car, the better chance I'll have at getting a less shitty car next season, plus money. Like I'm getting a guaranteed like 11 grand just from existing. Five 
I would see them try Sebring. God. It's not, it's not that they would have a million tire failures at Sebring, it's that they would have a bunch of suspension failures at Sebring. Probably. Because of how incredibly bumpy as fuck that track is, especially the, uh... Like... The actual runway part of it. NASCAR at Sebring would be interesting, though. Morgan Shepard equipment. Start and park, boys! Hey, man, I liked your drive club thing, Q. That's why I keep halfway joking about the bikes. Which, by the way, I've been playing drive club bikes uh, recently since I finished all the car content. Pretty fun. I actually really like how the bikes ride in that game. Bikes, huh? IRL Carvids Argo. Oh boy. Pass torch to thee, but I don't do that content anymore. Basically, I've kind of, like, decided, like, I want to do, like, that kind of content again, but that would be, like, reserved for, hey, when I do, when I'm able to do this shit, like, full-time. Like, you know, I have all the time in the day, so it's like, oh, hey, suddenly I have these, like, extra eight, nine hours a day to do, like, work on more shit. Let's revive this. But I don't know. Anyways, final lap here at Charlotte, and apparently somebody retired because uh, I just moved up to 42nd. I'm gonna match my best finish, guys, in the Bush Series. The Rhino to full time, it'll happen. I highly, highly doubt it, but it would be nice. Oh, hey, Delta. Yeah, 240 seconds in a row. Woohoo. Oh, shit. At least I was on the lead lap this time, and I wasn't, like, by far the slowest car. I mean, I was still the slowest car, but I wasn't, like, a second a lap slower than 41st. So, Bobby Hamilton wins from pole, leads all but one lap. I led the other one lap. Very good. Here's the uh, rest of the results. I'm just gonna quickly scroll through all this shit. Yeah. And who was the guy who retired right at the end? Oh, it was Biffle. <laughs> Fucking rip Biff. Alright. Well, there's that. There's that. As I go to congratulate Hamilton in victory lane. All right. Cool. It's like, yeah, I was last. Woo. So, there's that. Our uh, Bush neck. Isn't that our, like, second Bush doubleheader that we've done? As far as, like, segments. So here's the updated point standings for the Bush series. Kyle Bush is still leading. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck Kyle Bush. And I'm still in last, and I'm definitely going to finish last, because I don't even think I can... I don't think I'm getting 300 points by the end of this series. 300 more points by the end of this championship, just saying. But that'll do it for this segment, so next time we'll be uh, doing some trucks in, and probably still driving like shit. But hey, first season blues. Stay tuned for more NASCAR.